So I'm going to try to make a homeschool video because I'm switching from Right Start, which I have used. I used the whole program from level A all the way to geometry. We didn't quite finish geometry with my two oldest boys. They are now um, 10 and 12. So I'm going to try to do a video on our change and why I'm changing for my twins who are now nine. So they were doing level C, I want to say, and right start. Um, we were having to do like maybe two lessons a week and it was still very difficult for them and so I talked to my husband about it and he looked it up and Right Start Math is amazing but it's very difficult when you have several children so and I have five one is in preschool I have two in second grade and then I have two in seventh grade and I felt like I had zero time and all I was doing was trying to get through this level this lesson um, even though my boys are no longer in it I just felt like I had hardly any time to do anything else. So he looked it up and saw, found McRuffy Color Math. This is it. Sorry, I'm checking to see if I'm in focus. McRuffy Color Math. I had seen McRuffy label because I was homeschooled. Um, so it kind of was familiar to me. I asked my mom about it. She said she'd heard of it. So I guess that's where I got it. But I knew nothing about it. So it uses manipulatives like Right Start. Um, but it's a little bit more workbook based. This is what so far we're seeing. We did do a one week trial where we used their, they have like a um, lesson, like 10 lessons available online for you to try. And I did that for a week and decided to go ahead and we bought the whole curriculum for second grade. So I'm hoping that we can go quickly through the easy first parts at least to try to get a get back to where we were because I kind of feel like we're starting all over which is kind of sad so so far we're on day two of the actual curriculum we've done one week of the trial that was lessons like 50 so it was a little bit different and I noticed some things they hadn't learned yet some things they were way, way past so Right Start is a little bit different, you know, on how they lay things out and how they teach things. So color math, um, I was excited. I wanted to start at le lesson one and just go all the way through as kind of a review and just hopefully go quickly through the things that are easy, like four plus one and stuff like that. Don't do any extra stuff, just review it. So, so far we're on, I think we're on worksheet four. So we're doing pretty good. <laughs> First day was a little bit hard um, yesterday, but today went really well. So it seems what I'm hoping for is that it doesn't. Right Start tends to want you to think outside the box a lot, and my girls don't do well with thinking outside the box. And no matter how much I we pushed and practiced, they would forget how to draw the box if you had them start trying to think outside the box. So if they knew something and they knew a concept and they finally gotten it, we worked on it and then right start with have them think outside the box and okay, how's a different way we could do that? Then they would forget the original way and couldn't do anything. So it was a little bit, a little bit difficult. And they, so we did want a hands-on math because they do really well with the games and the hands-on stuff. So that's what we're hoping for for the McRuffy math is that it's going to be hands-on and that they're going to do great. But so far, my impressions are that it is a little bit easier, although I've, I'm still learning. I've been doing Right Start for so long that I'm, I'm having to figure out how to do it. So far, I'm liking it. Okay, it does seem quicker. It does seem easier. We haven't really branched out to a lot of some of the other stuff. They have like resource books, and they have different things that you can use. And we haven't been using all of those yet. We've been doing the worksheet and working through that, and then I do part of the lesson if I feel like it's something they didn't cover yet, or they didn't remember. So that's how we're doing it. And so far so good and I will hopefully do another video in a couple months to let you know how how it is and maybe right start versus McRuffy kind of because I was looking for that when I was looking for this math trying to find something more stuff about McRuffy and I couldn't find it so I'm hoping that this helps somebody okay you write it four o'clock how do you like that again start out what do you think is the first part four yep and then we have what? 
Before we do minutes, we do what? Dots. Two dots, yep. Yeah. And then zero. Get rid of the F. Yep, zero mm -hmm. minutes past the hour. Zero tens, zero ones. Two zeros. Yep. Yep. What's next? Seven thirty. Good job. Write it down. Oh. Enter it. It's a different type of math. Yeah, know. it's not right start. Yeah, right start doesn't use color at all. Okay. She played in her treehouse for one hour. So listen to the whole thing first, and then I'll, we'll break it up. She played in the swings for 30 minutes. Then she came back inside. What time did she come inside? So she, she went out at 2 o'clock, and then she played in her treehouse for one hour. So what is one hour later than 2 o'clock? That one. Let me see. No, don't just guess. 9 plus 4. Which one is the same as 9 plus 4? There's one you haven't used yet. That one. Which one B. is it? B. Good job. I did it. You rocked it. Can you make your B not look like an R? It doesn't look like the R. Mm hmm I made it. Good job. So it's kind of, they use some, a lot of hands on at some point, because when we started, we were doing the trial, it was at 50, like less than 50, and they were using it a lot. Um, right now it doesn't seem to be telling you to use as many things, hands-on things. Um, it's kind of a review, which is good for the girls. Hopefully it'll give them some confidence and get them so that they're ready to go. It gets a little bit harder when it gets to this point. It's, I'm trying to have them do the whole thing to start out and starting at the very beginning, even though they're technically through a lot of second grade already, just because I really want to make sure that they are totally understand before we move on because some of this stuff is different than right start already we've seen some concepts that are introduced at different times so some stuff they already know later than these books and some stuff right start hasn't covered yet so good to cover i am liking the looks of these games i'm thinking that'll go over really well they like games um, i've bought a lot of math games to try to help them with math so i'm excited to see what these are like and if they'll like those that was one of their favorite parts of Right Start was the math card games. So I'm excited to add anything like this. And we are still using our Abacus from Right Start and some of our other tools that we already used. I didn't even buy the package for the McRuffy Math Manipulatives to go with this because we already had basically everything. So we're going to just try to use what we have. This is the teacher's manual. This is kind of how much it covers. It's kind of hard to see, sorry. It covers that and then it has the answers. Cover it has them do quite a bit more in this beginning part. I'm not having them do everything um, because it is still stuff that they know. I mean, it's simple stuff, you know, like one plus three and stuff like that. So I don't want to over cover this. I really like to just make sure that it's a review, that they understand it, and keep going. And hopefully, in this really easy part, we can just fly through. But I'm really interested to see how this is going to differ from right start. And I will try to share once I get a little better understanding.